Step one would be to go back over uh, the last six to 12 months of your buyer side transactions, get a list of lenders that you've worked with, and uh, start with the one you like the most. And step two would be to call them. First of all, the mindset is you've got something valuable. You're not asking for a handout. That's the mindset. So then when you call them, the third step is to just to simply say something along the lines of, John, I've got a great opportunity. I'm buying leads. I'm resurfacing leads. Uh, they are uh, creating people that want to talk about the home buying process. Um, I'm looking for a lender to partner with. And because of our last transaction, um, I thought about doing it with you first. I want to know if you're interested in splitting the cost with me. So now I've got a past relationship. I've got an opportunity. I'm asking if you want to invest in the opportunity with me. Um, and if they're not in a position to do it or they don't want to, go to the next one and then go to the next one and then go to the next one. Things that we do to keep our lender partner happy, we give them a seat in our CRM. I don't look for a lender to call the leads for me. I look for a lender that is willing to partner with me financially and can get a loan closed. Like when I set an appointment for the lender at two o'clock tomorrow to call and get the lead approved, they do that. And they do a really good job of doing that. 